police have arrested 17-year-old Sean Gainwright and another juvenile in connection to an apartment shooting that left three people injured. The shooting happened on May 20th at Holly Hills apartment. Gainwright was arrested for aggravated assault. He appeared before a Lafayette County Justice Court judge where his bond was set at $50,000. The other suspect is being charged in youth court. All three victims have injuries that are considered non-life-threatening. What's up, what it do, Drill Time TV checking in once again. Fulio got swift justice. They ain't playing in Florida. You see, they'll give you life if you try to backdoor a motherfucker. Everyone listen to Chicago Drill because the intriguing part about of it was how is these guys doing all this in the streets with no consequences or repercussions? Well, I figured it out. If you live in the United States, the states might be united, but they all got different laws. In Chicago, you can kill a person in the hood all day and get away with mutual combat. As long as you keep it out the wealthy parts of the city like the Gold Coast. Florida said they ain't no none of that. They different. They might start off serving you the death penalty, and you'll be lucky to make it out of that thing with a life sentence. You see how they doing YNW Melly? However, just what exactly do we know about the suspects thus far? Starting with this one in particular, Sharon Gathright. Well, what do we know so far? Well, why he was 17, he caught a case for almost blowing down three individuals. Luckily, all three sustained nine critical injuries. Check him out. He already had all this going on already before he jumped in that Fulio situation. This happened in the city of Mississippi that goes by the name of Oxford. Just a little after 1.30 a.m. in the Holly Hills apartment parking lot on May the 20th, 2023. At age 17 in Mississippi, they was trying him as an adult, charging him with aggravated assault. Good evening, and I'm live here at Oxford where we're keeping you up to date on the latest news about that tragic weekend shooting that left three people in the hospital. Now, I talked to Oxford PD, and I also talked to some Oxford residents who have some strong opinions of what happened in their own backyard. This is not the town that you would have come and committed these type of crimes. It happened around 1.30 Saturday morning. When investigators first arrived, they found one person wounded. They then found two more injured at the local hospital. Police tell me that none of the injuries are life-threatening. Members of the Oxford community are wanting people to put the guns down and end senseless violence. People's lives, they are important, and I don't believe they should did that. You know, whoever, whoever did it. Put the guns down. I just don't. I just don't believe in all that. You know, it just it just don't make any sense. And I think that things are getting out of control. And what we need to do to solve it, I don't know. But I know something needs to be done. Something needs to be done as far as um, from a law enforcement standpoint, and then too, uh, we as citizens have to take responsibility as well. People. It's the people that have that, that's toting the guns because guns can't pull a trigger. The actual people that's toting the guns could be. I spoke with the captain of the Oxford Police Department, Hilden Sessoms. He tells me that while they have not found the suspects, they are interviewing what they call people of interest. He has this to say to the Oxford community. We want to thank the community so far with the tips and videos that have been submitted. Uh, we're using those to help follow some of our leads. We want our community to know that Oxford is a safe place and we do not tolerate this type of stuff. So our guys, we work vigilantly. And we work hard to try to bring these people to justice, and we will prosecute. It was said that Sean got family in Mississippi and possibly used to stay there himself. The internet says he had a good upbringing, and around the age of eight, he looked up to a famous Call of Duty gamer. I guess his love for COD possibly opened him up to a world of playing with guns. And in his childhood, he quickly went from hunting armadillos in the state of Florida to hunting famous rappers. Now Gutter Zay, he been juice chasing on the low for a while now, ever since the ordeal took place. He popped on camera to let the world know that he's still around after the Fulio hit, and he also rocking a new look. Rumor got it that Gutter Zay was the one that shot Fulio the last time and struck him in his foot. On the clubhouse convo, you can hear him trolling Fulio, asking him, do we know what he got hit with? Then Fulio asked him, do you know what I got hit with? And he told him. In another clip from Twitter Spaces, you can hear him say, I threw my net out there to catch a big fish, insinuating he put the play down from beginning to end. Kinda makes sense, being that Gutter Zay hosted the stain by sending old girl Alicia to sit on Fulio for the whole night and disclose his location and relay the information back to the Murphys and Sean John. He even been active on Reddit sneak chasing this shit by saying something in the lines of, if you ain't do it, it should be a law against you claiming it. Referring to all the guys making diss songs after Fulio checked, it was safe to say he wanted the whole world to know that he took part in the festivities in the night of Julio Fulio's assassination. I'll be on the traffic on with ghosts and let's make a toast to 
Yeah, I saw Bit 6k Bit 6k <laughs> Oh, real shit, do not mind with my toes, but I can't wash my feet Uh, clip it right now, but look, look, ain't God good? Look, oh shit, look I can let move my shit, man I can move my toes, man What the fuck? Ain't God good, boy And I can feel them bitches, man Fuck Like, four bull butts Hey, they know what you got hit with, fool. I ain't gonna cap, cause you gotta think about it. I had a raw ass in my shit. They had to take that shit out. That shit was my January. That shit had to heal up. Damn, they put the little boot on my shit. Hey, hey, gotta say, you know what you got hit with? Nah. Do you know what I got hit with? That's good. Stick it, bro. Damn, you hit that? <laughs> he asked you that. Hey, TK, boy, I heard that look. Who y'all at? My cousin. Don't you fucking up. You got bigger fish to fry. You with the fish? No, I'm not. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Mm -mm. I just toasted that bitch so bad, fucking raw. Uh, I don't got no fish to fry. I done threw my big ass net out there and you hear me? Come on now. Keep talking. Keep talking for FBI. <laughs> Man, I found out to my knees when the law came. Man, I found out to my knees when the law came. And that surveillance footage, I know y'all done peeped it, man. That hit looked like a movie off a of Tubi, you hear me? And authorities say Rashad Murphy can be seen wielding an automatic handgun, running alongside Sean Gathright to attack Fulio's car. And his cousin, Davion Murphy, wearing an orange ski mask, remained at the fence and let his rifle twerk from in between two cars. Now Rashad Murphy, they call him Ghost. Oh yeah, they said he one of them top smackers over there. And I done heard some treacherous things about him off in them trenches. But when them people came to see about him, he got the crawling on all four bible in one hand other hand a pocket poodle for leverage yeah man unfortunately you can't make this shit up they said alicia was giving intel from inside the party and they was on his heels all night following him from location to location trying to find a perfect moment to go with they move but alicia got to celebrating too soon and was allegedly seen in young and age music video covering her neck tat now i know you're thinking this might be self snitching but fulio already stated earlier in the game that that's a characteristic that his ops carry out and that they wanted him off the streets dead or alive and with the feds hitting that atk rico the fans saying if they get ace in that room again by itself he bound to crack like a boiled egg in ice water, you hear me? Game over. Uh, you shot your boy. I promise to you, I don't, I don't know, I don't know nobody from DC. I don't know nobody. Why am I just trying to be on the track? Only person, only person, person I know is Fulio, and that's just because he rap. Charles Jones. Yeah, I don't know him because he rap. At least your mama gets to look at your glass, and not have to look at your gravestone. But that boy Sean Gatwright is cooked. He the one that was getting active, active on that passenger window. The black Chevy Impala that he drove on the hit was registered to his mama. What well, damn, tampering with evidence charge that he picked up was from the police finding them spent shell cases linking to a homicide that took place on May the 23rd, 2024. That happened at Gutter Zay People House. And get this, they also found some spent shells that linked him to the October the 7th, 2023 failed Julio hit when Julio got shot last year. Sergeant Lloyd with Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Around 7 a.m., officers responded to the 3100 block of West 16th Street about a person shot. An adult male in his mid-20s transported himself to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The victim sustained a single gunshot wound to the foot. Our initial investigation has determined that the victim was shot while operating a vehicle. Uh, he was the only occupant of the vehicle. It appears that the suspect or suspects were waiting for the victim and ambushed him. During the shooting, an occupied house was struck. An adult female suffered a minor injury. She was not struck by gunfire. Uh, there's currently no description of the suspect or suspects. Violent crime detectives were on scene canvassing for witnesses and video surveillance. It is an ongoing investigation. We do ask anybody in the community to come forward with any information about this incident. Contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office at 904 630 500 or via email at jsocrimetips at jacksheriff.org or the Crime Stoppers hotline at 1-866-84.
See what I'm saying, man? All that Call of Duty done turned him into a shooter. Sean Gatwright could have possibly been Gutter's A top smack. See what I'm saying? What's done in the dark shall come to light. Man, you know Sean got all that going on. He's still fighting that first case from um, Mississippi. That triple shooting. They go fuck around and dangle that needle over his head. And he go tell them folks, look, y'all already got us, man. We killed Fulio, but look, man, me and Gutter's A, we, we tried to kill him in October. Just give me life in prison. Please don't give me the death penalty. And that boy just turned 18. Don't end your life before you begin your life. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, notification, all that. They wanted him bad. Because they done raided Shine House and found that rifle with the shell catcher. They already got the murder weapons. He just linked himself to another murder. And they tried to slime Fulio out last time. I bet your bottom dollar better say in there drunk. And wish he wouldn't have asked Fulio, do we know what he got shot with? At the beginning of this video, smack that like button and I'll catch you in the next. Shout out Mickey Truth. Drill Time TV. I'm out.